some more shit coins, including yep. Bitcoin. And you know what? Like, I'm going to get shit again. But yep. quite seriously, but- the elephant in the room is that not only this crypto thing is like you should pull uh, your uh, your keys out of the exchange, essentially, because it's not your coins. It's, it's the same thing as the normal banking system. When yep. you deposit your money in the bank, it's not your money anymore. It's yep. their money. They can do whatever they want with it. And so it's the same thing. So at the end of the day, I think the elephant in the room is that what's happening now is that people are trying to consolidate their treasuries, but they're doing it wrong. And they're going on to fiat back shit coins that are also going to fail. And then it's going to propagate onto people trying to get their money from the normal banking system. And that also is going to fail. And people don't listen that it'll ultimately it's going to be either gold or you're broke. And, you know, quite frankly, you know, you, you can give me a shit, as much shit as you want. But I think <laughs> if it's normal that you have a little bit of a diversification of mind and portfolio. You know, you don't need a Peter Schiff here. I mean, quite frankly, it's 3000 years of evolution and Bitcoin is basically outdated. So as far as I'm concerned, you know, I always say and I'll say it again. You vote with your feet, you vote with your wallet. I'm in Switzerland. I have I'm, I'm both deep in gold and uh, I'm very happy this way. So I, the, the issue is <clears throat> you have gold's not a productive asset. So basically the way speculation works is the maximum gains happen for the things that are the newest. And as things age and have been around longer, they become demarginalized. So by people, Dogecoin then? Well, no, Doge, Dogecoin is <clears throat> Dogecoin's a little weird because the world's richest guy just took it under its arm and decided to shell it for a laugh. If he didn't do that, Dogecoin would still be terrible, and it kind of is still terrible, but because the world's richest guy uses it as his like vanity project for no so I was telling people earlier on my own space that you if you're in a coin that's not a smart contract network, you will always suck middleman D always for the rest of your life <laughs> because you can't de-risk into a stable, and some stables are less risky than others. So for instance, USDC and USDT have admin keys whereby anyone that works at those companies can just invalidate your coins at will, literally. The exact opposite of why crypto was invented. You have less counterparty risk with something like DAI, but unfortunately, DAI, DAI, is backed in large part by USDT and USDC. And so if those guys decided to flip their admin keys... So we have just... some breaking news here that just came in from Coin. Oh, sorry, Telegraph. just let me... Go so ahead. Richard, yeah, Richard, we Go do ahead. this uh, in the space. We break the news good. and then we'll get back to it. Go ahead, uh, chat. All right, so this is from Cointelegraph. This is go back to Terra now. Uh, South Korean prosecutors are now calling on Terra co-founder Shin Hong Seong to cooperate. Uh, authorities allege that Shin Hong Seong earned roughly $105 million in profits from legal sales of Aluna tokens uh, um, before Terra's collapse. So here's what's so here's what's so funny to me. All you stupid people that couldn't listen to me that just got wrecked on that centralized exchange, the opposite of crypto. You think this guy owes you money? You think he did something illegal? I got bad news for you. Go read your terms of service when you signed up for that crap and sent your selfie in. Okay, and let me know if you're a secured creditor and have a UCC one form. Oh, but they're based in the Bahamas, so pretty unlikely. Uh, or if you're an unsecured creditor and they could do anything they want with the money and you could eat crap, it's not your money anymore. Yeah, it's, so not, all you it's, guys not, actually, it's not actually the case, um, Richard. So the, in the terms and conditions, it was meant to be custody and it was illegal for them to use it. So um, it wasn't like Celsius where yeah, they had permission so to use it. To make fun I defer to Simon. Um, they've, moved, they've moved into Mario Peter Schiff in was in the audience if you want to bring him up. Peter Schiff, oh, please, bring up Peter please Schiff do now. not. Oh my God! No, of course, I will. Of course, oh, I will. Yeah. Hello. 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 I'm gonna have to savage Hello. Peter again. Oh, oh my Peter. God! So Richard, back. Peter so Chip. gold. Gold is something you dig this out of is, the ground. This is where Peter, we, Richard. You know, Peter. This is Peter's perfect moment to say. I told. This is probably our no, most but, difficult but time to funny. Look at Peter. Gold. Peter and I agree on some stuff. Years Peter, I just just to let Peter hold on. Peter, I just sent you through a DM. So if you check your DMs on Twitter. You'll see an invite to come up on stage. Yeah, uh, Rich, you're, you're Richard. Looking. To be to be fair, this is the time when Peter looks at the one year chart and sees sees that Hex cr- crashed harder than Bitcoin. Yeah, and it's and, only up sixty thousand percent now. Yeah, like Hex you, is only you, up sixty thousand percent. If you started there right at the beginning, but how yeah, it's but, formed for those that have listened to your 
your talks around why they should buy it. So Bitcoin, this, Bitcoin dropped seventy five percent. Give us a, and yeah. I told you so. And Bitcoin if I held drops. On to Bitcoin right now, uh, from when I first held it back in twenty twelve, when it was thirteen dollars a pop, I'd still be up a massive amount of percentage. I, yeah, I that's, that's right. Guys, pro tip: crypto goes up three years, down one year, and it's been doing it for twelve years. It's yeah, not. It's not rocket you, science. It's really you gotta, easy. You've got to give the two the two <laughs> sides to the story, which is yeah. I'm happy. I'm I know old, more old about gold than Peter. It's fine. Crash I understand that. It's a reflexive system. I get it. It's fine. Look, bro, my coin I gave away for free. Let me know when they give you some gold for free. You know how many airdrops we got for free? Uniswap was free. One inch so was free. So you're saying that no but, one lost but what their about, money in What hex? about the people that bought it? Like, you, like you're talking about right at the beginning. A lot of Every single it, right? speculative instrument has the property and that people that you, buy low and sell high. It, if you gave it away for free, does that mean you failed the Howey test? Or? One thing at a time. Every single speculative instrument has the property that the impatient pay the patient. That the people that buy bottoms and sell tops take the money from the people that buy tops and sell bottoms. Every single speculative instrument in the world has this property. And it's not just speculative instruments. It's also Beanie Babies, it's collectibles, it's comic books, it's Ferraris. I'm up on my Ferrari. I bought a Ferrari. I made money on it. Why? Because uh, <laughs> they're sold out. So... <clears throat> Come on, you Richard. cannot. No, no, to be to be fair, I know, I know it's like your your. No, way but of things. you cannot I know program your, I know it's it away. Things, but come on, it's a, a lot feature of, people, of the system. Honestly, Richard, you can't get rid of, of it. People, there's a lot of people that are suffering. They've lost money. Yeah, I, know, I know. I know. You warned them. I know that if they had listened to you. But to be fair, like there's people in the audience because um, the that are really really suffering and. Um, being, no, being, then just being wait cold. six months and we get in a bull run again and you get to get rich again. Go get yeah, a real just, job, I'm, be I'm productive sorry, in society, so save up some money, and, buy the day. Everything about Ferraris and diamonds and how they're all idiots, like, um, it, it's, it's not. I it's, know it's not useful. It traffic, Listen, but it's not tasteful. It's not useful to get everyone else wrecked. My focus is on the guys that aren't wrecked yet. I want to save those guys. I can't save uh, the got, guys that already got wrecked. guys, I've got breaking news, guys. Uh, <laughs> chat, did you see it about Alameda? Just sorry, quickly, guys. And Peter Schiff, I've sent you an invite via DMs on Twitter. I see you in the audience if you want to come up. But do you see the breaking news chat from Daily Huddle? Um, I'm I'll read checking it right now. Checking it right now. It looks like, uh, oh, boy. Legit. Okay. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, read this out here right now. So Three Arrows Capital has broken its silence. It says that FTX and Alameda hunted their positions during the Luna collapse. Um, the founders of the now defunct crypto hedge fund Three Arrows Capital are speaking out after months of silence in the wake of the firm's bankruptcy. Three Arrows founders, this is from dailyhuddle.com. Three Arrows uh, Three Arrow Capital founders Kyle Davies and Zeus Su have both taken to Twitter to speak under the recent collapse of the crypto exchange, FTX, uh, trading arm Alameda Research, saying that it, the, the firms were also involved with triggering its bankruptcy. Um, let's see who this is from here. So this is from that uh, is the stupidest Zuzu. take I've so heard. I ran, uh, so Davies, please let me finish, Richard. Uh, so Davies said, I ran a hedge fund three euros with Sue over a decade, seven to ten figures organic. Since 2018, we were all in on crypto. In May 2022, Luna exploded, and the aftermath, correlated positions, spreads, investments, all moving on against us. We understand now that FTX and Alameda hunted our positions, but at the end of the day, we lost our money. We were the largest dollar losers, and that's of LPs, liquidity providers and creditors. Today, we are not in control of the firm. There is a liquidation process which will run due course for all involved. Responding to what purport to be screenshots of a Telegram chat with Alameda, Zhu Su says that Three Arrows Capital was wronged in some way, but didn't go into details. He says, it's a very long, it's a long story, but we were scammed just like you guys. It's okay. Justice is coming. Despite any claims against FTX or Alameda, both Davies and Zhu have both said they perhaps could have spent more time studying the mechanics of Luna and UST before investing in it. Luna slash uh, UST was uh, unprecedented and we completely messed up the thesis around it. We were attracted by the quality of backers, builders, team, and didn't spend enough time on the mechanics. Simon, I'm really interested to hear your thoughts on this, especially in the part that they just mentioned on the liquidation uh, after that news just broke. Just really quick, uh, Peter Schiff is in the audience. If you can move him up, Mario. I've sent a, yeah, I've already We've sent an invite you, via DMs. He has so, an invite to, in, for, in his Twitter. For the DMs. audience that Go doesn't ahead, understand what hunting someone's position means, you can only get your position hunted if you have margin leverage. If you're a spot holder of a thing, no one can ever hunt you. No one can ever liquidate you. The price is totally irrelevant. If you held Bitcoin like I did, so I mined Bitcoin when it was 50 cents, 
And then it went up to $30 and I bought a bunch of it. And then it went down 93.5% to $2. And then I held because why the heck would I sell a 93% dip? You'd have to be an idiot, right? <laughs> but guess what? In crypto, we got a lot of idiots. So then the price went up to $1,300 and then it went down to 200 and then it went to 20,000 and then it went to 3000 and then it went to 14,000 and then it went to 3,800 and then it went to 69,000. And now on the way to my 10 K call, we've stopped at 15,400. So crypto is extremely volatile. It goes up for three years. It goes down for one. The guys that buy the top and sell the bottom lose all their money. And where does their money go? It goes to the people that bought the bottom and sold the top. Everyone that gets margin trading in crypto gets liquidated and annihilated, everybody. And anyone that ever plays short in any market gets totally annihilated every single time because the money printer keeps printing and all of the charts go mostly up and to the right forever. Some small group of charts which suck and are scams or, or have uh, inverse reflexivity like Luna did, where the lower the price went, the higher the supply went. So normal crypto, you get about a 95% dip, and that's about it if you've got product market fit. But with something that has negative reflexivity, where it increases supply as price drops, then you're going to get absolutely wiped out. There was a company that lost 12, rather $20 million shorting Luna, and it dropped 90% like three times over two weeks. Can you imagine getting liquidated shorting something that went down 90% three times? Well, you know what? I warned people not to short it because you'll get liquidated on a scam wick. The market will bounce up just for a second to hit your liquidation, and then it'll go back right where you thought it would go, and you'll lose all your money. If you trade in crypto, it's the 100% most reliable way to lose all your money. And if you don't believe me, just ask 3 Oaks Capital. Just ask Sam from Alameda, Sam Bankman-Fried. They all lost their money by trading. They made a crap ton of fees, and if they would have just made normal money and not got leveraged up and just rode the fees, like BitMEX, they'd be rich as heck.